the car that forgot its body. In this world, you'll see wonders. You see billionaires sending rockets into space, robots doing surgery, and then you will see a man in Africa who decided that a car doesn't need an actual body. That's right, my friends. Forget Ferraris, forget Bugattis. This man revolutionized the auto industry by removing the one thing that car companies have wasted decades perfecting, the exterior. Now, what was running through his mind when he decided to design this masterpiece? Maybe he was inspired by convertible Ferraris, but thought, why stop at the roof? Let's just remove the whole thing. Or maybe, just maybe, he promised his village boys that he'd have a car. And instead of flexing on them, he decided that they should all witness the experience first hand. No windows, no doors, just pure unfiltered open air transportation. The engineering feat of the century, or midlife crisis. Now let's talk about the build. This car, if you can even call it that, consists of some pipes, a steering wheel, and a dream. The frame looks like something stolen from a construction site. The seat is suspiciously similar to a plastic lawn chair. And let's not even discuss the seatbelt situation, because there isn't one. Safety? Oh brother, if you crash this thing, you're not surviving, you're just becoming one with the ground. There's no windshield, no roof, no side panels, just vibes. This isn't a car, this is a moving skeleton. It's not aerodynamics, it's air everything. And let's discuss the elephant in the room, the engine, which is fully exposed. Now, car manufacturers spend billions designing cooling systems, but this man said, nature will handle it. Rain, no problem. The engine will get a free shower. Dust, the engine will just adopt. This man single-handedly solved overheating issues in the cheapest way possible by letting God himself handle it. Unstealable, the first anti-theft vehicle. Now, one thing that shocks me about this car is that it's actually unstealable. Why? Because who in their right mind is going to steal a car like this? First of all, why are you going to hide it? You can spot this thing from miles away because <laughs> it's extremely unique. It looks like a science experiment that escaped a laboratory. Second, the man designed it for quick disassembly. You can remove the steering wheel, the seat, probably even the engine, and carry them home in a backpack. Imagine a thief trying to hotwire this thing, only to realize that the owner took the brake pedal with him. Genius. So one thing about this car is that, you know, if it was in the western world, this car would probably be in a garage somewhere, you know, just sitting because it was someone's project. But you see, this guy's car is a car that is fully on the road, you know. I mean, this car is a car that you'll find it, like, next to you on traffic. Because as you can see, this guy is using this car, like, full time, you know. Even though it doesn't really follow traffic rules, I mean don't be surprised if you find this car next to you while you're driving your car on the road. Because you know what? This is Africa. Because sometimes in Africa we really try to appreciate our inventors even though they are not really reinventing the wheel. You know? Finding this car on the road is not something new. We've seen endless cars that are DIY driving on the road, you know? And, and they don't have any sort of insurance or any sort of cover. So, is this innovation or madness? At the end of the day, we have to give this man his flowers though. He didn't just wait for a company to build him a car, he became the company. While people are complaining about fuel prices and even the price of buying cars these days, this guy built his own vehicle with probably less than $400. He didn't let lack of resources stop him. He redefined what it means to own a car. So, is it ugly? Yes. Is it unsafe? Extremely. 
Is it the boldest, most fearless DIY project in history? Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, he's driving his dream. And that's more than most people can say.